everyone, I'm Eric. Uh, I'm super excited to show you how you can make any water bottle interactive. I'm gonna show you three cool ideas to do that with Octo Studio. So first, we'll make our water bottle speak to us. Glug, 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 glug. And then we'll make a game where every time you take a sip of your water bottle, you'll collect a point. Uh, and then finally, we'll make a water bottle telephone so that if you see your friend isn't drinking enough water throughout the day, you can hit a button and their hydrate. water bottle will remind them to take a sip. So let's do it. So as you know, drinking water is super important uh, and it's kind of like a superpower in a way. It almost reminds me of like when you're playing Mario and Mario eats a mushroom and grows and makes that sound. So I think it'd be kind of fun when we pick up our water bottle to take a sip, it does that. So let's go ahead and make that project. Let's create a new project. And we'll start by picking either a character, uh, what we call a sprite in Octo Studio or a backdrop. So I'll go ahead and pick a sprite. Since we're making a water project, I think it'd be fun to grab kind of a water themed sprite. So maybe we'll do this water droplet. Uh, and then I like this little blue background here. So we'll kind of have a simple aesthetic for the project. Go ahead, I like to make the stage a little bit bigger so I can see what's going on. And then also kind of pinch to zoom in the code so we can see what's happening. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and add a sound to the project because that is what we want to sort of replicate is that Mario sound. So I'll go ahead and hit the microphone icon here uh, and then record a sound. Glug, 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 glug. Um, so let's play it. Glug, 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 glug. <laughs> Looks good. We noticed there's some silence in the beginning. So I'll drag this here to crop the sound, which means to delete what's not in the yellow. So I'll go ahead and crop it. Uh, then I want to show you these. These effects can, you know, speed up the sound, make it echo. I like this speed up, and you'll see why. Check it out. Glug, 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 glug. Cool. <laughs> kind of sounds like a cartoon now. So let's go ahead. Uh, I like that. So I'll hit the check mark, and we have our sound here. Um, one thing we want the sound to play like when we pick up the water bottle, which is sort of like when the phone will shake. So I will actually get rid of this event block and pull out the when I shake, I want this to happen. So let's go ahead and see if it works. So when I shake, gluck, 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 gluck. there you go, it works perfectly. Um, so that's our simple project. Now let's attach it to our water bottle. So I'll zoom out here so you can see and how on earth we attach them with some rubber bands. So I'll go ahead, I'll speed it up as I, as I do this. All right, so as you can see our phone is snug against the water bottle. So let's see if it works. So I'll go ahead and full screen the project. Now, you can imagine this. If I pick up the water bottle and shake it, what'll happen? Gluck, 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 gluck. Perfect, cool. Let's see it in action. Gluck, 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 gluck. So it was a lot of fun. Let's pick another project. Now, we've all heard of a step tracker that counts how many steps you take throughout a day, or a sleep tracker that tracks how you sleep. Um, but I've never heard of like a sip tracker. Uh, and since it is important to hydrate, maybe we can develop an app that will sort of give us a point every time we uh, take a sip of our water bottle. So let's go ahead and try to make that project. All right, so for this next project, I picked the same sprite and the same background because I really like those. Um, and the key to this project is going to be sort of understanding when the phone uh, and the water bottle is being tilted. And we can track that actually in Octo Studio. So if you come to this last category here, more blocks, we'll pull out this block here, which is called tilt angle. And I love this block. This block actually contains a number and we'll talk more about that in a minute, um, but it's gonna give a number of when the phone is tilted either to the right, to the left, up or down. Um, and so the way we can see this number is actually by putting it in a say block. So to have the sprite say the number, we can actually see what this value is. So I'll go ahead and do that really quick. So I'll have the say block here, say, instead of saying sort of text, hello, I want it to actually say the tilt angle. So let's see what that looks like. Okay, cool. So the tilt angle is zero, right? And that makes sense because the phone's flat. Um, if I were to tilt the phone a little bit here, oh, we see negative five. Um, so you can see we're starting to get these values uh, as we tilt the phone. How about we do this uh, for 0.5 seconds? and let's have it forever be giving us this value. Okay, so now we can see, cool, when I go to the left, we can see we get some of these negative values, and to the right, we get these positive values. So that's gonna be really important information for us as we continue to build this project. Actually, let me put this block on top too, so now when we hit the green flag, 
I'm sorry, the green play button, it'll give us those values. So, so stick with me here. This is, so what I'm gonna show you next is really important to making games and it's called a conditional statement. And I know it's a long word, but it's essentially just a question. It's an if then question. So I will go to the control category and grab this out. Um, and you can see here, it comes as default. If score is greater than two, have something happen. Now we're kind of interested in a tilt angle, right? So I'm gonna get rid of score and grab our tilt angle and put it in there. And let's say if the tilt angle is greater than five, let's have, I don't know, let's have it play a sound uh, drip. So again, we're saying, remember we tilted, we got some of those values here that were like five, 10, 15 when it exceeds five, we'll have it play that sound. So one thing to know is this is a question that only gets asked once, and we want it to always be asking that question. So we'll grab a forever loop and we'll wrap it around. So our program's going to be forever asking, hey, is tilt angle over five? And if so, give us that point, or sorry, play that sound. So I will put this in a, um, I'll add an event block to play it when we start the project, and let's see what happens. So if I tilt it to the right, oh, I hear that trip sound. <laughs> kind of cool, right? So again, it's at zero, so the conditional isn't true, but as I tilt it, okay, cool. So this is the basic premise of what we're gonna do. And the next thing is we need to sort of see when we tilt the water bottle, what are some of those values? And we'll continue to add, we can add a bunch of code in here. Right now it's just playing a sound, but we can add a score, we can do a bunch of cool things. So I'm gonna take a break, code some, come back and show you what I came up with. Awesome, so here's my final code. Uh, I discovered as I was tinkering, actually the value for when I full screened it, I actually needed to change this value from greater than to less than, I just, as I was tilting the phone, I noticed that's how that worked. Um, I added the sound game, so the game sound, which is like a cool video game sound. And then I had the flashlight turn on and off, uh, and that's a pink block, so if you wanna get that block, you can just go to the category here, colors and lights. And then I added a variable, um, which increases the score every time uh, a sip happens. And again, I found that block here in that last chord category. So here's what it looks like in action. Um, if you're like me, I sometimes forget to drink enough water uh, and I'll get a little tired because of it. Uh, and so I think it'd be nice if like a friend saw that, they could like click a button and my water bottle might like vibrate and make a noise to remind me. Uh, so let's go ahead and try that project out. Okay, so for this next project, we'll need two phones. So this phone is going to sort of be the remote control, if you will, and this one's gonna be the one that's on the water bottle. Uh, and we need these two phones to sort of talk to each other. So like when I press something here, I need this phone to sort of react. And you can do that using the beam function. So I'll show you how to do that. Uh, if you go to this category here on the end and you scroll over, you'll see a block that's called beam. Uh, and essentially this will send a signal through Bluetooth to the other phone. So we can go ahead and drag this out and I'll attach this to the wind tap button. So when I tap my Sprite, which is a little thing of water here, uh, it will send a signal to this phone. Now this phone will need to receive that signal. Uh, so let's go ahead and try that out really quick. So how about when I start the project, I'll pull out here, when I hit the play button, uh, wait for the beam. So I'll go back to that, that category here on the end and I'll pull out the block, wait for beam. Uh, and you can see it's going to be waiting for the triangle beam. So there's actually a couple of different messages uh, that you can send. You can send you know, a circle, a square, etc. So we'll send the triangle. And when I receive that beam, I'm gonna have something then happen. So just so we can test it, how about just so we can see what happens, I'll do jump. Uh, so if this works correctly, I'll start this project. So you can see it's waiting for the beam. And if I tap the little drink here, we can see, there you go. So it's, it's jumping for us. Um, you notice that only worked one time. Uh, if we go ahead and wrap this in, or a forever loop, let's see what happens. So when I hit the play button, it'll see it's gonna be waiting 
for that uh, beam, so I'll tap it. Then we see it goes back, so we can now play it a couple times instead of just once. Great, so I like this project a lot, but maybe for my water bottle alert, I don't want it to jump. Maybe I want it to say something. So I'll go over here to the blue category and grab the speak block. And the speak block is essentially like a computerized voice. And you can have it say anything you want. So how about we say um, it's time to hi how do we spell hydrate. Uh, and I also really like uh, on this block, you can have the voice sound kind of squeaky like a chipmunk if you go here. Uh, to the music note and hit this last one that'll make the pitch higher on it so i like that and then maybe also we should have the phone vibrate so you can actually have the phone shake like you're getting sort of a, a, a text message or a phone call it's in the blue category here the buzz block um and uh yeah so let's go ahead and try it out so again if i hit this i should send the beam to this phone which should trigger the program <laughs> Pretty great. So let's go ahead and demo this project, see how it looks. It's time to hydrate. <laughs> it's so funny. So yeah, those are just a few ideas of how it is you can bring your water bottle to light. We can't wait to see what you'll make.